So just another morning in the tent, except instead of being able to spread out, having all my stuff and having my man space. Mm. <laughs> but it's okay. In another three hours, she'll start actually vocalizing <laughs> English words and I'll have some company. <laughs> For now, it's mostly just this. Taters is currently practicing acupuncture without a license. Would you like some help? Morning two on the Grand Enchantment Trail. There's been tears, <laughs> penetration, everything's gone wrong. <laughs> Morning one. Oh, oh, so yesterday's day zero. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So this choya bush is right by where we camped. And when we came to camp, I told Jen, please be careful. That thing will sneak up on you when you're not paying attention. And then this morning I hear more tears than usual. And sure enough, <laughs> it has snuck up on her. <laughs> Uh, that's not what she said. So we have been running into a bunch of uh, day hikers and weekenders. This is a really popular area. Uh, we were able to find a camp off by ourselves. This morning we're passing around the north end of Weaver's Needle. And we're basically crossing the superstitions to pick up the Arizona Trail going south for a section. So I am kind of hopeful that I run into a couple of people because I was getting kind of friendly with the uh, people that were around me off and on, and then now we're up and uh, disappearing. So once we rejoin the AZT, we will be on the AZT until basically the Oracle Mammoth area. And then it's uh, setting off for parts unknown, aiming for Albuquerque. So little known fact, but Taters actually has a long history with penetration and weaver's needle. When we were out here years ago, what? <laughs> when we were out here years ago, she goes off around the corner and I'm like, Matt, can you come here? And I'm like, ooh, I think I've read these letters to Penthouse, right? She had like drop kicked a cactus, <laughs> had it like shooting deep into her leg. And she was like, yeah, I'm kind of concerned. Could you please come help? <laughs> Ended up having to do surgery, like literally try and cut into her leg to get some of these spines out. And then she flexed and the spine just like disappeared. So somewhere in one of her calves, there is a deep like oh, pussy recess. So uh, that uh, in contains that because that spine never came out. And that's Tater's uh, pussy recess uh, history with penetration. Too. So that is Weaver's Needle and I've uh, led groups up it twice. There's a fourth class side and a fifth class side. We did the low fifth class side, which is kind of fun in a sketchy, you can't really protect everything because the rocks might pop, but fun climb. And I mean, look at that. It just, uh, you come over a Fremont saddle on the way in and you're like, oh my God, we're doing that. You know, I talked to that one trail angel that said this guy showed up with an inflatable kayak and a second kayak to hold all of his gear. We stopped for water at this spot because I liked it so much. I really have a weakness for the water flowing through the steep rocky pools. I don't know what it is. I just love these spots. And we found a pair of Canyon tree frogs. We did, didn't we? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have seen them if not to be them up. Yeah, that is like a very relaxing drive on the eight. Lovelier. Oh, as I break my ankle. Furry portraits on deviant art. Oh, it is pretty out here. So the trail's not quite as well built. Keep going forward, keep going forward. <laughs> trail's not quite as well built, but there are uh, footprints and the occasional duck out here. Some of this is gonna be cross country though. So in general, this trail's been pretty good. The one problem is a lot of these kind of uh, dead stick sort of bushes are actually cat's claw. So if you have to bushwhack through everything, anything, it gets really painful really quick. This is just really cool though. Pretty area, open desert. There's been people around, but not contention issues at least so far because people are on trails in every direction. And there's only like 762 miles to go. Practically there, right Jen? I just love the way the rocks look out here. Makes me want to go climbing. So 
you might think that Taters is just super nice coming up here to join me, but in actuality, she just really, really likes ramen lunchtime. <laughs> it's just one of our happy little chaoji. <laughs> uh -huh. Along with not making enough miles, being stressed about doing enough miles. <laughs> So unfortunately, the easy miles are getting a little less easy here. But it's no problem because I checked and I only need to make like 13 miles a day. But unfortunately, while Taters is with me, we have to be making 20s. So no swimming. Jen, I invite you out for a nice flat jaunt along the AZT, having climbed all the mountains. And what do you do? <laughs> then obviously it was sad when Smythe was dying and he woke him up for that last second. So this has been really fun and we both commented how it feels really remote. The only problem is it's a little slower going and all of these bushes are cat's claw and they have a tendency to rip into you. Oh, it's been a great day. Not over yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where we can afford to, well, I'll let you No, no, go. <laughs> Nothing like educational code discussions <laughs> on video. Those are sexy. And we've actually been worrying a little because here we are up high and there hasn't been anything. We came down for our, our water source and turns out there's a campsite right here. And since we're not on the AZT, no one is around. We haven't seen anybody. We did about 17 miles full of peace, solitude, lots of frogs, majestic views. We came around a corner. There were two uh, young women um, bathing naked in the pool. I'm trying something new for dinner, making some uh, tacos with barbecue jackfruit, squash, and bell pepper, so hopefully those come out good. Home sweet home for the night. Taco time. Monday, it's all gone bad. Oh. It's all gone bad. We have to buy a new tent. <laughs>